Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my series of tutorial videos for you guys. So for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Lovely Abbott of Lovely Abbott Virtual Solutions and I am a brand identity and graphic designer for women entrepreneurs who want who wants to have um, standout brand identity online and attract more clients. Um, you know, of course, that's the ultimate goal, help them attract more clients using a standard brand identity that is created for them strat strategically. So let's go jump right in for this tutorial. Like I said from the previous one, I promised you guys that I'm going to go, I'm going to do another one, which would talk about how you can create custom you see it right there, custom mockups inside your smart mockups account. Now I do have a free account and it is available for free accounts. So let's go and do it. So when you go to custom mockups, it will wrap you to create a new mockup right here. So pretty easy. All right, it's pretty easy. And it has a category. If you have a couple mockups, it has a category for photo or just an isolated. Isolated may, means it's just one device. So for photo, I do have another mockup right here that I created previously that I've used for my graphics and for my opt in pages. So this is a photo that I grabbed from the photo, the stock photo membership that I have with Styled Stock Society. So if you're not aware, guys, Styled Stock Society is super, you know, they got adorable photos for feminine um, and female entrepreneurs, bloggers, and creatives. So you might want to check out Styled Stock Society and sign up if you don't want to sign up for the membership yet and you want to just you know test the waters and see um, how beautiful their photo is before you sign up they do have um, you, you know free photos every month they send it to you monthly so you guys should check it out too um, so for this one I'm gonna go ahead and create a new mockup and we'll, we'll take it from there so click on create a new mockup and it will route you to drop your image here, upload from your computer. So I'll go ahead and upload from my computer, not that one. I go to downloads and I have this one photo from and from uh, Pretty and Pig collection of Styled Stuff Society. So as you see right there, this is kind of like if you're familiar of Photoshop, this is kind of like where your smart object is and where you're going to drop your PNG of your design so that it will you know and then this is um simply the smart object so if you've noticed this little um, question mark icon right here if you click on it then you have the options to familiarize the different keyboard shortcuts and controls that you can use and so let's just say let's go ahead and format it and so for Photoshop, I usually just click on shift and um, long press it or hold shift um, while you move the, the corners. But I think for smart mockups, it's, um, it's optional, but I'm used to holding the shift key in my, in my keyboard. So we'll go get it from there so make sure you're just gonna eyeball it a little bit and so let's see and move it a little bit and move it a little bit and don't worry so that it's kind of like balanced and if you're uh, pretty much um, satisfied with the way it looks then you can go ahead and save and it will automatically save it to your custom designs inside your smart mockups account 
um, you have also the option to resize it. Automatic sizing, custom sizing, maybe 1080 by 1080 for, um, for, for Instagram post and no stay. So from here you can says it says here the 3d so from there if it's 3d then you have the options to kind of like play around with this point right here and the corners to make it look like a 3d device but i haven't played around with it yet um once i get the chance to really uh, create something using this um, options right here I'm gonna go ahead and create another tutorial for you guys so for now this is just um, a simple way for you to create mockups if you have stock photos device stock photos um, like a laptop a tablet an iPad a phone and you want to showcase your your designs for you know for social media then this is perfect for you guys. And you can reuse this mockup over and over again, just change the design that goes here. So it says your design here. So this will be the area where you're gonna upload your design. So after that, after you save and quit, you can do that, upload your design. Now, um, there are options right here, eraser, you can, um, like if you're familiar with Photoshop, again, there's an eraser icon, I mean, eraser feature, which you can erase. And um, you can reset it to make to, to undo it. And you have the erase paint. Or you do have another overlay image, which you can add another image on top of this image right here. So we won't get we're not going to be doing that this time but we'll just say i am pretty um i am pretty um you see you have the option here to add another layer but we are not going to do that so we are just going to delete that one all right so I'm satisfied with it and I'm gonna go save and quit and you're just gonna wait 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 and it's right there you have your custom mockups now inside your smart mockup account now you can click on it and you can actually upload an image upload a video or upload from your Canva account, which that was the thing that I've I've talked about during my previous tutorial. So if you want to upload from your Canva account, and it will go from there, and you're just gonna go, you know, find the design. But I usually just do upload from you know, upload an image from a computer. That way, uh, sometimes it, when I use the upload from Canva, it's taken me a long time to find the right, you know, design because I have so much design. I have so much files inside my Canva account because I've been using Canva since 2016. So I'll just go ahead and download the, the design as a PNG and upload it from here. Then after that, the same way that we, we did during the last tutorial, you go download it um, or customize the color or you know crop it or save it for inside your um, uh, Smart Mockups account and you'll go from there. So I hope you guys um, find this tutorial helpful and let me know if you have any other tutorials that you want to see about Canva, about design, about creating um, visuals for your business. And um, I'll see you guys next time.